Hi, this is George Voss with Century Equipment Corp. Today we're going to go over a few of the things on an MVD block valve. Um, as we zoom in here, we'll look at the inlets and the outlet connections on the valve. And then we'll look at making a few changes and adjustments to the valve. So the MVD valve consists of an inlet connection on the back, the bypass outlet, the needle purge inlet, and the needle vent. We're going to start off by showing you how to change the needle. In order to do so, you will take the shroud off. You can take your wrench, loosen that knot. Pull the needle assembly out. If you look, you notice that there is a recessed area where the needle can plug into. The needle has a raised portion that matches up with the recessed portion right here. When installing the needle, you basically put it in and you'll feel it if you're turning it back and forth, feel it drop in. And then you can reinstall the nut. And snug the nut up. If you are changing from a tube stub to a needle, you will need to install the orifice. The orifice is located in that recess and can be removed or installed with a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench. The orifice helps to slow down the flow so that you don't get um, too much spraying or atomizing of the sample through the needle orifice. All you do is it threads down in and it just has to be snugged so that it won't freely back out. It does not have to be over tightened. Install the needle. Install the nut. And snug it up. I'm going to put this back onto the shroud. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to talk about the flow control set screw which is located here and interferes with your second sample valve. Notice it limits the travel of the valve. In order to make adjustments on there you would take a 1 16th Allen wrench and you can adjust how far the valve opens by backing this screw out. And this you'll have to do um, according to how your bottle is filling and how your sample is flowing, um, you can adjust it to the desirable flow through the needle for bottle filling. And that's basically an MVD in a nutshell.